Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Annihilus. Now, I did a video on him when I did my rank up and gameplay on him, but this time we're going to go a little bit more in depth about Annihilus and what makes him such a pain on defense. All right, so first we'll take a look at his synergies. Now, I'm not too impressed with his synergies, but we're going to take a look here. Uh, this first one is with Darkhawk. When Annihilus is taunted for 0.5 seconds, when striking an auto-blocking opponent, while taunted, his attack rating is reduced by 40%. I don't know. Doesn't seem all that useful to me. Uh, this one, uh, every time Annihilus's opponent activates a Fury, Annihilus gains an armor up buff, increasing armor rating by 8% for 4 seconds. Now, You'll see who the synergy partner is. This is not a coincidence, I think, because this synergy reminds me of the way Hulkbuster works. When your opponent gets a Fury, Hulkbuster activates an armor up. This is his mechanic. And he was made to fight Hulk. So that doesn't seem to be too surprising there and finally he has a synergy with all of the fantastic four that just gives him more crit so nothing too exciting in my opinion all right let's take a look at his abilities now his signature ability when annihilus's opponent's back is near the wall he gains one passive aptitude buff which increases the potency of all fury armor up and precision buffs uh, by a percentage. And when Annihilus's back is near a wall, he gains a passive block penetration buff, allowing all attacks to ignore a percentage of the opponent's block proficiency. Bottom line, when he's awakened, you really want to fight him in the middle. Okay? Because if you do like what I normally do, and you pin him in the corner he's gonna do more damage, potentially, okay? So if I pin him in the corner, he's gonna get more block penetration. Now that's not normally a problem if you fight aggressively because you're not blocking for him to do that, but you still don't want him to have that potential damage increase. And you don't want to be too passive because then when your back is against the wall, he, will again gain more damage potential. So when he's awakened, fight him in the middle as much as possible. All right, now let's talk about this cosmic control rod. So this is a buff that he gets at the start of the fight. And whenever the opponent activates a nullify, fate seal or stagger, the effect is purified and the control rod is removed for 10 seconds. You want to remove that control rod and we'll talk more about that in a moment. But that means that champions who nullify, fate seal, or stagger are great against Annihilus. They're going to disable that control rod and remove a lot of the difficulty in fighting him. He's immune to incinerate, frostbite, cold snap, and any effect that lowers or locks power. Now, while he's taunted, he gains true accuracy, unblockable and unstoppable. So uh, I remember fighting him with my Spider-Man Stark enhanced, and I just didn't understand how he worked and got wrecked. I didn't know why he was suddenly unstoppable, unblockable, um, hitting me no matter what. But that's why, okay? That is that cosmic control rod. That's why you want to remove it fast as possible. All right, now these obliterating strikes. When that control rod is active, all of his attacks have a 60% chance to be an obliterating strike. That makes a difference. Why? Because the strikes have a 100% chance to inflict an armor break. So that means you're going to be doing more damage. Bottom line, uh, they're not affected by ability accuracy reduction. 
So that means 60% is what you're going to get, period. Uh, now, Annihilus is immune to incoming stun debuffs while launching an obliterating strike. So let's break that down. When he has the Cosmic Control Rod, he's going to have a high chance, 60%, to have his attack be an obliterating strike. And when he's launching an obliterating strike, he's immune to stun debuffs. Have you ever fought Annihilus and right from the beginning, you try to parry him and he doesn't parry, he doesn't stun because he was attacking? This is why. You want to get rid of that cosmic control rod before you'll be able to parry, stun him safely. So in the beginning of the fight, that's going to be your most dangerous time fighting him. Now, all of what we were talking about makes Annihilus a really nasty defender. He's one of the more annoying defenders in the game. And here's some more why he is an annoying defender. Stifle. He gains a max of 12. Whenever he would inflict an armor break, he also inflicts a stifle and that reduces your power gain when the opponent is stifled his first medium attack in a combo removes one stifle and generates a fury which means he's going to do more damage now here is what gets a lot of folks in trouble if the opponent dashes back while stifled Annihilus removes one stifle and gains one unstoppable buff lasting 1.1 second. Okay? Now, have you ever fought Annihilus and you're trying to back up and he just seems to be unstoppable all the time and then he traps you in a corner and wrecks you? Well, now you know why. And why does that buff last 1.1 seconds? Why not one second? Why not 0.5? Well, if you fought him, you know. And just watch his timer. That unstoppable buff lasts just long enough that he can chain it and you will get wrecked. All right, so that is why. Now, when the cosmic control rod is removed, he gains three fury buffs, uh, which also gives him more damage. All right, and here are his three special attacks. Uh, the special one refreshes all stifle, uh, stifle debuffs on the opponent. The final hit pauses all of the active stifles for six seconds. If you watched my previous video, and I'll try to do it again in this video here, uh, you'll know why that's important. Uh, if you want to play him on offense to build up your furies. Any pause stifles on the opponent increases Annihilus' offensive power gain by 9%. His special attack 2, when activating this special, Annihilus consumes every stifle on the opponent each generating one fury, increasing attack rating. All right, so I want you to see how special one and special two kind of go in together. So what you want to do is you're attacking him, you're putting stifles on your opponent, then you're going to want to fire your special one off so that it'll pause it so that you can build up more stifles. So you fire off your special one, build up more, fire off your special one until you have your max number of stifles, which is 12, I believe. Then you fire off the special two, which takes all 12 of those stifles and replaces them with a fury that stacks. That's when you start doing crazy amounts of damage offensively with Annihilus. All right, and here you go with the special three. It inflicts the opponent with 10 stifle debuffs, each reducing his power gain by 9% for four seconds. Uh, until the opponent has zero stifles remaining, the duration of the stifle debuffs is increased by 125%. So, Annihilus is not suicide friendly. You need to fire off these specials. You need to fire off your special ones frequently. Uh, you need to fire off that special two to gain more damage. All right, the special three, also useful in building up the stifles so that you can 
build them up maybe a little bit quicker and still pause them with the special one and then get that special two to convert all of the stifles and then do major amounts of damage for 18 seconds. All right, so we're going to take a look at him in Realm of Legends and we'll be testing him against Winter Soldier. Now, as you can see, I'm going in here with no synergies active whatsoever. I'm not really a fan of his synergies and they wouldn't help in this particular uh, case anyway against Winter Soldier. But I am running suicides, so the damage numbers will be somewhat inflated. But you can still get a good idea of what damage potential uh, he has on offense from this video. At least that's my goal. Now, I'm doing something a little bit differently than I did in the rank up and gameplay video. Uh, I had a better chance to read his abilities and especially his special attacks. So what I'm trying to do here is I built up to the special three, fire that off, and that's going to extend the duration of the stifles as long as he has stifles. And I'm thinking that should help me uh, build up to a special one and get to my special uh, get to 12. And as you can see, we had 12, but. Here's something about Winter Soldier, and really a lot of the enemies that you find in Realm of Legends. They can be very passive, and when you have something that you're trying to time, like you have a, a buff that has a timer on it, or they have a debuff that is counting down, that's when they will do everything in their power to eat time away. You know, they will try, to, they'll fire off specials if they have them. It doesn't matter if you're blocking, anything to run down that timer. All right, now, we got him to 12, all right? 12 stifles, and check this out. We got the special two off with 12 stifles. This is the max, so watch his damage now. Look at that damage. Look at that, 13K, 8K crits, 14K crits, 9K, 14 again, okay? That's the power Annihilus can have when you set everything up and you have those 12 Furies. So that was the max. Now you can also just build up as many Furies as you can, as many Stifles, and then fire off the special two to build up the Furies, and he's still gonna be hitting harder. And that's what you see me doing during the rest of the fight. I don't try to build up to that 12 max anymore. Instead, I want you to see what his damage looks like uh, without the 12 stifles. Just, you know, a few, maybe two or three Furies. It still ramps up his damage quite a bit. Uh, he recently got a rework, and his rework, uh, I believe it decrease the timer on I think the stifles I'm not quite sure um, it was useful because you can build up easier but you still have to build up like you saw me doing and he's great but I don't think anyone is going to want to go through all of that to get that damage which is awesome when you have other champions that do it much easier He's gonna be a defense champion for some time to come. But that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.